The shadow of Frank Stone looms over Cedar Hill, a town forever altered by his violent past. A group of young friends are about to discover Stone's blood-soaked legacy cuts deep, leaving scars across families, generations, and the very fabric of reality itself. What is up guys, Agro Legion here, back with another video of the casting of Frank Stone. Chapter 3, a, curio a curiosity on main something. Alright, we have Cedar Hills, 1980. I think we're still playing with, um, what is her face? Yeah, it's still this time zone. The one that made the movie, Murder Mill. Chris, 1659, Jamie's house. Disaster. Don't be so dramatic. It's not like we've got a real deadline. Ugh. Who needs a real deadline when every wasted second brings you closer and closer to your ultimate cosmic eternal deadline? Gothic. <laughs> I like it. Jesus. Hey, what are these? Oh, I got those for us all to wear when we shoot. Surprise. Wait, you guys are both acting. So, it'll just be me? So you'll be like our ambassador. <laughs> yeah, not a chance. Hmm. Oh, whoa, whoa, don't open that up. I still haven't taken the film out yet. I thought it was broken. Well, yeah, the lens is cracked, but the footage is still good. Unless, you know, you open it. Ugh, whatever. We got some good stuff today. Glass half full. Dude, just let me be Yeah, upset. I mean, yeah. Doesn't Sheriff Green have anything better to do with his time? Like, go after actual criminals and shit? Cedar Hill is not exactly a noted hotbed of criminal activity. That's not entirely true. There was that whole serial killer thing. Hold up, what now? When was this? Uh, I was just a baby, I don't really know. 1970-something? Oh, you're still just a baby. And you still don't know anything. Now, be a good little baby and tell me all about this whole serial killer business. I know some stuff. Spill it, lady. For starters, I think that's why Sheriff Green doesn't want us to go in the steel mill. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's where it all went down. So you do know stuff. <gasps> and you held back, you traitor. Yeah, because I knew you'd get all like this. Hell yeah, I would. Linda, tell me about the steel mill killer. Well, that's where it all ended. But before that, there was a whole string of disappearances. Kidnappings, really. Murders. So what was this guy's name? Maybe we should write him into the movie. Oh, um, I don't know. Frank, we... Frank Stone. Frank Stone, Frank. yep. So Frank Stone was actually killing people in the steel mill? Like yeah. our steel mill where we were just shooting like an hour ago? That's the theory. Frank was working at the mill, but I think it was on its last legs by then. Probably not a lot of people around. They shut it down right after. All right, we got probing and puzzled. Who are the victims? What do you think he was up to? Uh, let's go puzzled. What do you think he was up to? There has to be a reason for him to kill a bunch of people, right? There was never any kind of confession, so they don't really know for sure. Someone somewhere's gotta have some idea. Well. We could always just ask Frank Stone. Huh? Crystal ball, Ouija board, what will they say? And Miss BB's hotline, the dead are just a seance away. Okay, okay. <laughs> I called Miss BB once. I tried to speak to Mary Shelley, but Miss BB thought that was my grandmother, so she kept going on and on about eating enough cabbage soup. <laughs> Did you get a recipe? Oh, damn. Then again, Maybe it's better not to dig up old bones. If it's ancient history... Mm, people don't really like to talk about it. You do get reporters asking around sometimes. It really rubs people the wrong way. Once Sam Green became sheriff, that all died down anyway. Questioning suspicious. Sheriff Green seems to care a lot about this. 
what were the reporters asking about? Suspicious. I mean, they're probably going to say something about it. He's the one that stopped it all from happening. Sheriff Green sure seems to care a heck of a lot about this. Sam Green's the one who took Stone down. Yeah, see? Ah, saved a little baby that day, too. Would have been the killer's next victim. Yeah, he's kind of the town hero. Huh. I wonder who the kid was. Was it, was it him? Chris, what are you thinking? You guys have been so helpful answering my questions and all, but it sounds like I should probably go right to the source. <laughs> What? After today, I don't think Sheriff Green's gonna want to talk to you about anything even remotely related to the mill. You never know. Good luck with that. I guess it doesn't really matter what happened at the mill since we can't finish shooting there with a busted camera. Hey, why don't we just take the camera to the drugstore and see if we can get it fixed? So, yeah, the thing is, I kind of spent the rest of the budget on the t-shirts. <laughs> Unless you know of anybody looking to get into film finance. Kind of shit out of luck. Who in the world? Quiet, please. What? Uh, um. You want a piece of me too? Jamie 1705. Jamie's garage. Alright, uh. Empathetic. Howdy, partner. Uh. Let's go to that. Howdy, partner. How's lap on the range? Did he hit his head or something? The hell's wrong with you? Uh, nothing, sorry. Ugh, why mm. is Dad such a demanding asshole? I came home to help, not do everything. I mean, I'm not a maid. Do I look like a fucking maid? You better mm. not say I look like a fucking maid. He's just worried about Mom. <laughs> More like he's worried that as soon as she croaks, I'm out of here. And then he'll have to be his own fucking maid for once in his life. Okay, so that's his sister. They switched up real quick though with the uh, all right, shocked or hopeful, uh, but mom's gonna get better. That's pretty harsh. That is, that is kind of harsh. Jeez, Bonnie, that's pretty harsh. I don't mean it's not true. Well, maybe you should cut him a little slack. You know, this is hard for him, and me too. Yeah, well, you didn't have to put your whole life on hold and come all the way home from New York City and suddenly play mom while your own mom is sick. Serious, supportive, it's not fair, you have to fill mom's shoes, or serious, let's go supportive. You're right. I didn't look at it like that. It's not fair for you to have to fill mom's shoes. No, it's not. And man, it, it sucks you had to leave New York. Yeah. <laughs> and you had to put your whole life on hold. Okay, now I feel like <laughs> I'm getting played. What? No. You're doing that thing where you say back to me all the things I was just complaining about, but when you say them back, you act like you were being such a good listener, and you really get me. Ay, <laughs> hermanito, like I don't know what you're up to. Well, we were kind of wondering if you could lend us a couple of bucks. <laughs> Money. We're so close to finishing the movie. Our camera had a uh, high-speed encounter with the pavement. <laughs> How much do you need? It kind of depends on the damage, so it could be like just a couple of bucks, or it could be more than a couple of bucks, like 20 bucks or 30 bucks or you 100 have bucks. You no idea, do you? Uh, not really. So let's say hypothetically, I help you out. What do I get out of this? You gonna make me a producer or something? Sure. Of course. Associate producer, Bonnie Rivera. Associate producer is a bullshit favor credit. Linda! <laughs> okay, yeah, I don't really give a shit about having a credit on your movie. So, maybe if you actually have something real to offer? Um, you can borrow my van. How about I don't tell Dad? Um, cynical, reluctant. Reluctant. I don't think not signing dad's gonna do anything uh, for her. All right. All right, fine. You can borrow my van all week. <laughs> what? Dude, I wouldn't be caught dead in that thing. Well, I guess that doesn't Vans are help. Cool. Everybody wants to drive a van. No, nope. try again. If I may offer a suggestion, 
Jaime, why don't you take over some of Bonnie's chores? Uh... Hmm, enticing. Oh, man. All of my chores, no complaints. <laughs> all of them, not just yes, some, but all. Then I think we got a deal. Wise decision. Don't try and weasel out of it either. Pleasure doing business with you. Pleasure's all mine. Bonnie gave you the money to fix the camera. Fate changed. All right, Chris, 1732 uh, Main see. Street. Uh, what is uh, what is in that fake blood? I think it's just mint flavored real blood. Oh, it did say to avoid any prolonged skin contact. You washed it all off like right away, right? Uh, you don't think it's like actually poisonous, do you? It's a horror movie, Jaime. Anyone could go at any time. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Hopefully there's enough time to fix the camera before they close tonight. I'm not sure the drugstore clerk will even know how to fix it. Hey, think positive. It's not like there's anywhere else in town we could take it. What? What about there? I thought that place was condemned. Guess they got a new tenant. Do curiosity shops even... Endless curiosities? There was a place like that near my grandfather's house. The owner used to tinker with all sorts of old junk. You never know. I bet they have some rad old junk, too. Let's check it out. Your call, Chris. Let's go. A curiosity shop. Why not? I certainly am curious regarding said shop. Eh? Yes, I get it. I'll lead the way. You chose to try the curiosity store first. Man. I didn't know any better. I'd say this place looks like it's been here forever. And a half. Maybe you should write it in. Don't tempt me. What if the owner is a deranged serial killer who collects wayward teenagers and turns them into antiques? Then we hit the jackpot. Check out the wares. Ooh, cameras. Uh, these look like they've seen better days. They're not going to put the best ones in the window. We got to look inside. Well then, go inside. Goods bought uh, and sold. Too bad. So much for that. Mm. We can still have the drugstore before it closes. And what is it you're looking for? Hello. Hello. Who is that? We saw the cameras. We're trying to find a replacement for this. Well, of course you are. Please. Come on inside. Well, open now. Now, let me see. I think I have something that may interest you, if I can find it out back. Please, make yourselves at home. Okay. And be sure to have a look around. You never know what treasures you might find. All right, well, let's take a look around. Make ourselves at home? Here? I don't know. I think it's kind of cozy. In a failed capitalist state kind of way. <laughs> Let's see. All right. And, and Look around and while waiting for the storekeeper. What do we got here? Where did I think this is just the, um... How is this yeah. We haven't found any more other than the horse and the other thing. What is that? Oh, it's the Huntress Mass. That's neat. Oh, cute bunny. It's the Huntress mask off of um, Dead by Daylight. That's neat. I like all the um, the the Easter eggs Let's and stuff. Hypothetically, she does find a camera for us back there. Yeah. What's the next move. We got everything we need to finish this sucker. Well, except the mill. What do we got here? Just an old owl. Or not an owl, a f crow. What's over here? Locked. 
Talk to Linda. I'm alright for right now. I'll be back. Mm. I don't know what that is, but it looks isn't, painful. Doesn't that belong to somebody, I think? I'm not too sure. The trapper, maybe? Maybe I'll play a Dead by Daylight or something. What we got here? Is that it? Just a smiley face? Okay. Creepy mannequins. And a TV. Turn on. Who would want to watch this creep fest? What is it? I don't even know. Let's see if we find anything else. Let's go down this way. I think this is the last place that we can look anywhere. What do we got here? Film. That doll staring through that is creepy. Oh, here we go. We got, um... <laughs> The trapper. Piling up to that at night. I wonder if Frank Stone is the trapper, because look at the, f the face of it. That's pretty cool, though. Alright, I think that's everything we can do. No? Can we go back? No? No, we're stuck. What can I help you with? There's a lot of old shit. Oh. Can I talk? Yeah. She comes running out straight at us with a giant chainsaw. I'm getting like so bummed out. Mm. Chainsaw massacre. You're in luck. A very fine item indeed. Yes. Whoa. Ten dollars. May I? I insist. It's pretty old. Possible we could make it work, but it's not exactly what we had in mind. Mm-hmm. How much are you asking for it? Oh, there's a tiny little price tag on it, but I seem to have forgotten my reading glasses. Why don't you take a look? Ooh, all right, so... $10. 10 bucks. That seems reasonable. It feels high. I think, th I don't know about in this, this time, but it seems reasonable. Okay, sure. I think that seems reasonable for something like this. You accept the storekeeper's price. Thank you very much. Thanks for finding us a camera. Oh, it was no trouble at all. It truly is such a joy to see young people so passionate about the arts. Yeah. Yep, that's us. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah. Did we leave ours there? There's something strange about her. Something very strange. Wait, guys. Oh, I'm such a moron. I, I told my mom I'd pick up some milk on the way home. Oh, do you want me to... Hold this. Be right back. Wait, Chris. We just spent all the money. Emergency sock quarter. Emergency sock quarter? Quarter? <laughs> oh, there's something here. Oh. Well, um, boss. You got the trapper. Look at him.
It looks pretty cool. Alright, we good? Alright, yeah, there it is. What do we got here? Oh, it is a croc or a waterlogged shoe for four names, four toes, something like that. Alright, let's take it. Alright, and milk. Can I play this though? Play. Oh, I can play. Ace, AMJ, whatever, insert coin start. Uh, shoot. Oh, okay. How do I get past the frickin'? I'm gonna sit here and shoot, I mean... Go on. Right, I got him. I gotta get over here. What's the high score? There we go. I don't think this is that hard. It ain't hard at all. Oh, I actually got hit. Shit. Here somewhere, yeah, there it is. Another, another round, another wave. Now it's getting a little harder, it's shooting a lot more. Uh, can, can we get him? Can we get him? There we go. Two lives, 30, 30, 70. Oh man, now it's gonna start getting pretty hard. Oh, I got hit again. Thirty-seven forty, not bad. Thirty-seven forty. Oh, there we are. Third place. That's not bad. Could be better. It could be worse. Five thousand in order to do the um. Let's grab the milk. Another missing. Benny Baker missing at 240480. Garfield, brown eyes, brown hair. Alright. Let's dig it. Hello? Anybody here? I didn't look around everywhere, but it'd be alright. Hey, Chris. Robert! Whoa. Wait, I thought you worked at the library. How would you know? Don't think I ever saw you come in. I got spies Why does he remind me of man. Green? So, Linda. Busted. <laughs> <laughs> you can always come in yourself, you know. 
books don't bite. Uh, Linda's the bookworm. I'm more of a movie worm. Mm, I don't think that's a real kind of worm. Neither's a bookworm. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about the ah, so we're the about gameplay. to close in like two minutes, so. Oh, right, yeah. Ring me up. A little lag in everything. All right, that'll be 25 cents. Okay. Got that? <laughs> yeah, you sure don't see coin like this working in the library. Actually, you don't see any coin. <laughs> it's volunteer hours. Not so bad if you like to read, I guess. Mm, true. We've got a rad horror section, too. Didn't know you were a horror guy. Just books? Movies, comics, too. Whatever I can get my hands on. You know, Jaime and Linda and I are all making a horror movie down at the old Cedar Steel Mill. No kidding. We could always use an extra hand if you're into that kind of thing. Uh, super into it. But... <sighs> Does my dad know you're going into the mill? Oh, he, he uh, uh, he's like, like a hawk. Uh, yeah, we had a little run in with him today, but we're going to sneak back in to shoot the rest. He's behind you, man. I would love to be involved in a green in sun. One. Hey, dad. Yeah, uh, Chris was just telling me about a um, a we're putting together a fundraiser to show movies. At the library. Okay. You need a ride home? Oh, yeah. Uh, let me just get my bag. Hmm. Chris. I'm sorry I was a little harsh with you and your friends before. I just wanted to make sure you're taking me seriously. Oh. Probing. Oh. Um, all right, so probing, defiant, or pro... pro, pro provocated? Provocated? What really happened at the mill? Let's go probing. I want to see if anything oh, happens. I do. But you got to tell me one thing. Is it true? What really happened at the mill? What? You know, the real story. Oh, right. <laughs> the real story. Hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's all true. But there is one part they never tell you about. Yeah? Nah, I, I couldn't. Come on! All right. But you've got to promise to keep it to yourself, all right? Scout's honor. They caught it to steal mail. But it turns out, you can't steal a mill. All right, you got me. This is what I do. <laughs> Sam's jokes joke eases the tension. You ready? Take care. Sam Green. Hey, hey, hey. I can get you back into the mill without him knowing. Just say the word. Let's All make right. a movie. <laughs> well, we got our way back in the mill. It's the sun. I have worn many masks over the centuries. Dr. Augustine Lieber was renowned, professional, and trusted. Frank Stone confided in me allowed me to unlock his potential during those dark days in the psychiatric ward. And now, a new guise. A new timeline. Is that the... 
The old lady? Giving them the camera, I admit, was unfair, even for me. They couldn't know what power they held in their hands, nor what cruelty awaits them in the steel mill. That was... But what true creator wouldn't suffer for their art? What? That was the old lady is the one that's trying to buy the uh, tapes now. Well, that is going to be the end of this one. Um, getting very interesting so far, but yeah, if you guys liked it, go ahead and hit the like button. If you guys want to see more content like this on my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I post uh, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, along with a live stream on every Friday. Thank you for sticking around the end of this episode, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. And as always, stay spooky.